Hernandez. She is in North Harris County. Kathy. Yes, North Harris County. We're actually in the spring area. This is uh, Warrington and, and right near Treshwig in the spring area. Again, you're seeing flooded roads here. This neighborhood is right behind Cypress Creek, and that's obviously out of its banks and creeping more into this neighborhood. It's just a very dangerous situation for families here who are trying to get out of their homes. And this gentleman here actually walked through that water just seconds ago. Twice twice <laughs> twice what are the conditions like back there it's up to your chest once you get around the corner it's all the way up to your chest and it's got a current like it's hard to walk in tell us how much water is in your home um six inches but it's you know it's a one-story house so it's like you've got nowhere to go we put everything up on top of stuff that's valuable just to try to keep it out of the water but I mean there's the floors coming up there's no carpet in the house but all the wood flooring is coming up and we walk on it it's it's ridiculous how fast did this all happen did you go to sleep and everything no, was dry no, I actually drank some coffee I was planning on staying up all night watching it because you know the last flooding we had it was started to come up our yard but never really got that high and this it just slowly kept getting closer and closer and closer I got all my pictures you know documenting it and it's I was I really never because my kids wanted to come get us and I was like I never expected it to get that bad I mean this is it's ridiculous were you able to grab any belongings yeah we've got some stuff in the cooler just that we didn't want to get wet just cell phones and wallets and stuff like that that's about it What's going on back there? Uh, uh, other people, neighborhood, yeah, other neighbors? Yeah, there's some people that have uh, two little rafts and there's actually a boat back in there trying to get people out, but they've apparently lost the boat because they went back and they're not answering their phone. They're trying to find them. I didn't see it. To see your home underwater, to see your neighborhood underwater, you're smiling for me. You're staying very positive. That's that's amazing to see, well, the really. The problem is that we rent and it's we have renters insurance but the flood is separate and we didn't have that so it's just everything's gone so you're just staying positive for your family of course. i have faith god's gonna work it out so we'll be all right absolutely we'll be able to work for another week because we deliver cars and I don't think anybody's going to be uh, buying any cars for at least a week or two. Sir, the whole city, we're all thinking about you guys, you know, the families affected. Um, this is such a tragic situation, very heartbreaking, but I'm so glad that your family got out. Everyone is safe. And obviously that's the most yeah, it was important just me and part. my wife there at the house. And I mean, both of my sons live over off Cypresswood and, you know, they were fine. They don't have any problem. We should have left. But, you know, nobody ever said anything about, hey, you need to leave. That was, I mean, nobody said this isn't, you know, you, need, you should get out if you can get out. They said stay. So I stayed. And it's getting deeper back there as you move yes. closer to Cypress Creek? Yes. If you, I mean, right where that truck is, it's, you know, it's up to your knees. So, and once you get the further back, you once there's a little street that cuts across, the water is rushing through there like, I mean, like a river. We were staying on the edge of the fence, just walking up the edge of the fence, and it was hard just to walk up the edge of the fence. And the water was only that deep right there. But in the middle, it's raged like a raging river. So. I'm, I'm so glad, I'm so glad your family got out safely. Yeah. Now hopefully y'all can get to a safer ground. Yeah. Dry bed. Yeah, I'm, I've been wet for a couple hours now, so. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much for stopping with no us. Problem. We're all here for you, really. It's you just it's right. just so heartbreaking. You guys do get to sleep, right? We get to sleep a little bit, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but the concern mainly is is not us. It's you guys. Well, you know, you're it's out here too. So. <laughs> it's you guys, and I hope all your neighbors are able to get out safely to grab their belongings, to grab yeah, some everybody, belongings. Everybody that I saw, like I've got some neighbors across the street we're really good friends with. Um, they've got a two-story house. They're basically in the second story. I mean, the water's not quite at their house, you know, it's because their house sits up a little bit higher. But yeah, it's it's coming. It's not going down. 
This is definitely not a good situation for these families. We're at Warrington near Treshwig, and again, this neighborhood backs up to Cypress Creek. Obviously, it's out of its banks now. A very dangerous situation for families who are now just waking up or maybe haven't even slept all night like this gentleman here. And so hopefully they're able to get out safely and um, and get some help before then. Guys, back to you. All right, Kathy Hernandez, thank you. Uh, appreciate it. We'll check in with you in a little while. I uh, would love to see a little bit more from that neighborhood, hoping for better news and with some lighter rain today, hoping for that. But I know that the lighter well. rain doesn't necessarily affect the river, bayou, and creek levels, but That's we'll pray for, sure. for that anyway. And you see with that gentleman there, I mean, he is still worried about others. Even what he's going through, and that's really kind of been the underlying theme throughout this entire event. It's been amazing seeing neighbors helping neighbors and being concerned about others. So happy to see that. Stay